that the so-called big fish that do uh, sun mining, that uh, uh, go for rice growing in the, in the wetland, those are activities that have adversely affected the flow of water in this place. You have intimidated the NEMA staff, you have intimidated the district environment officers, you do not want to abide by what you uh, promised to do in your environment and social impact assessments. Let's use this chance to evict all these land users because they are the ones that are blocking the flow of water and we get a lot of flooding in the area which has even led to the busting of the bridge. So let's use this chance to evict all these land users, whether you, they are done by who, whether they are implemented by who, let's not fear this time round, come out clearly, NEMA, we are with you, they sh you should not be intimidated, we are moving with you, and we are calling on people to voluntarily vacate, <coughs> not wait for the public to come and dismantle your sand mining equipment. Just leave because you have realized how dangerous your activities are to our Katonga River and the entire Luera wetland. I thank you. There are so many women around that area that have lost business. By this, the women who are in the, in the market around Bukaya, the women who are fishing, who are fishing around that area, women who are ordinary women and would ideally want their produce to be taken to Kampala or to any other place, or to Mbara, or wherever, because that's a trade route. So we are looking at the economic impact, negative impact on that trade and investment when it comes to women. We, we need to remember that we have women who would want, ideally, to sell their matoke to wherever, to either Kampala, but right now they are telling you they can't even take that. With the issue of our fellow women, that uh, have really taken long overdue in uh, detention for unclear circumstances or cases. And we call upon the people responsible to look into this and uh, if there is any case that these people have really been charged of, because justice delayed is justice denied. It's better these people are brought up and either charged or acquitted because they, they have been detained illegally for so long. I would also like to address the issue of taxes imposed on the diapers and the parts. I think the government is adding more problems onto problems instead of finding solutions to some of these problems. Uh, such moves are actually pushing our girls into very, very, very scary situations. This is where we're going to find our girls indulging in uh, very many bad activities like prostitution, as very many are going to indulge themselves in theft, very many are going to indulge themselves in very many criminal activities because they are trying to make a living to meet these high standards. Of living. It's unfortunate that some of these moves are made by fellow women. I would expect a woman to understand a pain of a fellow woman. We, we know it is to record that 25% of these mothers are adolescents, 15 to 19 years. They are struggling to get survival. They are struggling to get a living. They are struggling to keep up their life and their children's lives. And most of these are single mothers. They are not having a helpful hand from their husbands or from their <coughs> guardians, but they are struggling as single mothers and of which they are young. They are very young to the extent that we should be giving them help instead of frustrating to get from them. We should be helping them instead of stealing from them. So the government should really look into these motions and these moves before they are passed. Because some of these motions are actually going to be as dangerous as they don't think. They are going to bring more negative results to, to positive results than they actually think. Mr. President, I have a question for you. 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 I have the National Referral Hospital we have here is in Kampala, which is Murako National Referral Hospital. A Masaka Regional Referral Hospital can fail to operate uh, some procedures in medical field. Then they end up as, uh, uh, referring the patients to Murako Referral Hospital. But today, 
the road was cut off due to the heavy rains. Katonga River in that swamp, today you can't pass there. Even the other side of Zimbabwe, it was almost the same issue, but they worked on it. Now, I'm wondering, today I'm seeing these bridges whereby we are passing up. And I was always asking myself, according to the construction we have here in Uganda, will those bridges survive for a long time, really, seriously? Because when you go to other countries, you can't find such fake roads as in Katonga, you know, the way it fell me is very, really amazing. So, Gabriel, Chaka Katonga Chenjoke Dekechton, not in Zaliwa Masaka Nang, and you have command, Simbi, Nayenga, or Gudora, this is a big banga, a dual, you don't get Simbi Kabara, Devon Nanga, Valimedra, Yemurago, Katia Bachara, to a Simbi Kakawempe, Nayenga, a single Kuru, Katonga, Yabudem, Olokubera, and Kolayen Wooden, the Jetwina, and Neu, Yarachi, Yunra, Yunra, Mukagamba, two children of public assent and Nanga, Tawadi, Rukunda, Narumu, and Uganda, to tell the Kujakongo Kiri, the Mangay, Mara.